way to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. You were taken from this realm alive. too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet you want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges. Be Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Ah, we'll good. Reward you. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Focus up, boy. Yes. Father, we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while if we... you wish, boy. But I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamlor. A very giant giant, who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason Bonk! Struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. What killed him? Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. A 
A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. That chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. And I'll find light crystal. Focused. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw, but how do we get it down? Follow me, Atreus.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. 
Okay now, shush! I need complete silence for this. There you go. Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, I really like Julio, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think you're <laughs> dashing. Heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. A war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Another crystal. Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? <gasps> Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Quiet head. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that Quiet head. He doesn't like music either. Got it! Write it. House. Sumo. Bar. Jetson. Yes! Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess, temporal magic. 
Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the boat! Having a little fun, you big grump.
Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place.
can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. I know of a place that can make an ace of useful treasure. You quit that shit. I mean it. He went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle has to be It's all his fault. Stop talking. Focus and help me find them. Who can't disappoint father? Hurry, brother. 
We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Tell me what to do. I can't remember the last time we faced an actual challenge. Oh, God, this is a challenge. An old man and this stupid Us. What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Hanfri. You don't know who that is. Hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> Can't believe you've lasted this long. Those skinny little arms can barely lift the curtain. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy.
last time we faced that to a challenge. You call this a challenge? An old man in this stillborn Always! All their crawl their bleed there! Your mother and father up there or something. She cut up your face and you do that. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> Don't listen to him, lad. He's trying to rile you up. Idiot! The sons of Thor are welcome to try. Hey! Sorry, overstepped, yeah? Come on, put up a fight! This is my favorite part. Behind you! Boy, stay focused. It hasn't. 
Roy. The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. <laughs>